I'm willing to go to war. How many times do I have to repeat? Regardless. Hello beautiful people and welcome to Celebrity Home. Sa latest trending ngayon, Chris Aquino, bumuelta sa mga bashers ng mga anak. Bilang nanay ni na Josh at Bimbi ay di na niya napigilang magsalita upang ipaglaban ang mga anak mula sa mapanghusgang mga tao. Kilala nga naman si Chris bilang matapang na ina at kayang tumayo kung inaapi na ang kanyang mga anak. At na pong panuorin ang umiikot ngayon sa social media na video nito. I'm willing to go to war. many times do I have to repeat? Regardless that my life's work, my chance to come back on free TV, that was taken away from me. Because I was told, mahirap nang ma-offend ang palasyo. I took that. Kasi, political reality yan. Hindi yan ginawa ng nanay ko, Hindi yan ginawa ng kapatid ko. But I know how this game is played. Nangingibabaw pa rin sa akin that my father, he gave his life for this country. Sinabi niya at napanindigan niya, the Filipino is worth dying for. I was a year old when he was jailed. Panahon to ng martial law. I was 12 when he was assassinated in the airport that is now carrying his name. And you know what? With everything that has happened, I still continue to pray for the current administration for this government that is ruling us right now. Dahil kung pumalpak sila, tayong lahat, tayong mga Pilipino, tayo ang babagsak. Maling oras ito for political divisiveness. Millions of Filipinos are now jobless. Millions are hungry. Marami na. Millions have lost hope. Marami na ang namatay. Too many are sick. And too many can still die. The problem is, nung sinikap kong tumulong, na misinterpret yon. Hindi po ako kagaya ng iba. Hindi po ako epal. Wala po akong agenda. Tumatanaw lang ako ng utang na loob. Because my mom taught me, there would be no Chris Aquino if Filipinos did not support or believe in you. Mas lalong hindi po ako kagaya ng iba. Kasi ako po, nagbibigay galing sa bulsa ko. Nagbabayad po ako ng tamang buwis? Wala po akong history na nagnakaw ako sa taong bayan. Nabasa ko po ito in a DDS blogger. She wrote about this. She said, alam ko raw yung first law of power. That's true. She even quoted me. Kung Duterte ang tatakbo, Ibibigay ko na po sa kanila yon kasi wala kaming malalim na ugat, sugat, at hindi sila ang kaaway namin. This was referring to the 2013 elections. Minsan kasi kung hindi mo i-declare, hindi gets ng ilan. Pag minahalang mom ko, bali-balik ta rin man, Hindi pwedeng mabaling ties that bind. In the current Duterte cabinet, 
Secretary of Finance Sonny Dominguez and Secretary of Foreign Affairs Teddy Boy Luxin continue to have my unwavering respect. Tito Sonny keeps open communication lines with my sisters and me. Teddy Boy and I are text mates. Obvious ba? Pag may bumanat sa akin, Teddy Boy goes ballistic on Twitter. There are friendships too deep para matint ng politika. Tatapusin ko to by saying, who actually benefits by erasing the legacy of my parents? Sino ang nagtanggal ng freedom of speech sa Pilipinas? Sino ang nagpakulong at nagpapatay kay Ninoy Aquino? Let's go back. President Duterte started his political rise during my mom's administration. Legacy po ng nanay ko ang peaceful transition of power. This yellow. Nagbuwis buhay ang dad and mom ko for our country. And ito ang kulay nila. It is for that reason that I will not allow anybody to taint the symbol of their sacrifice. I have no party affiliation. Pero alam ko kung sino ang napatalsik at gustong gusto kaming gantihan dahil kulang para sa kanila na pinapatay na nila ang dad ko. That is not President Duterte because Alam ko, never ko siyang binanatan. So para po sa mga DDS, wala tayong reason na maging magkaaway. I am who I am as a mother because apart from our three years in Boston, I only had one parent. She was my role model. Fourteen ako nung lumaban siya sa diktador. Hindi ko po maalala kung seven, eight, or nine times yung coup attempts. Pinatay po ang dad ko. Ilang beses kaming sinubukang patayin. Pero ito po ang diferensya. Never kaming umalis. Hindi naduwag ang nanay ko. I will never forget this. Sumabog yung kotse sa labas ng bedroom ko. Ang lakas na po ng barilan sa labas. Tumakbo po, papasok sa kwarto ko, na walang bulletproof glass, ang mom ko at sinoy. Kinaladkad nila ko from my bed pababa. Bago inisip ng nanay ko ang sarili niya, inuna niya to secure me. There are so many other instances. Even when she was already told she had just a few months to live, she fought. Sinabi niya, my children are not prepared. They lost their dad na hindi sila handa. I will not allow. Hindi ko hahayaan for them to go through that all over again. Kung meron man kaming tinago sa inyo, tinago namin all the procedures that she underwent para lang mabigyan niya kami. Nung nakita niya, what we needed most, what her children needed. We needed time. We needed more time with her. Kaya ngayon, kaya ko bang ipahiya ang sarili ko dun sa pinakaunang nagmahal sa akin? Yung nag-alaga? Yung nagsakripisyo? Yung nagpatawad? 
at yung nagparamdam sa akin kung ano talaga ang unconditional love. You can say it so often, but action speaks so much louder than mere words. I will emphasize, I'm not here to attack, but you leave me no choice but to defend. Alam ko naman eh, hindi nyo ko tatantanan. Kaya habang may freedom of speech pa, magtiisan na lang tayo. You can and you will attack me, but karapatan ko ipaglaban ang dignidad at pagkatao ng mga mahalaga sa akin. Clarify natin yan, na. Who are the people who matter to me? Very obvious. My two sons. The memory of my parents. My siblings. And because I cannot predict tomorrow, baka dumating pa yung taong mamahalin ako ng tapat and publicly, mutually, aaminin namin sa inyo na may relasyon kami. Kasi nakita ko yun sa mom ko. When you truly love, hindi ka lang magtitiis. Para sa mahal mo, wala ka talagang ititira sa sarili mo. Ilalaban mo hanggang sa huling hininga mo. These two platforms, Facebook and Instagram, they are my only means to directly communicate with all of you. You know, totoo ako. Kilala nyo ko, I am real. I also know, I do not have a troll farm. I know, you are real. Lahat naman tayo, gusto natin ng mapayapa na buhay. Lahat tayo, lalo na ngayon na pandemic, nag-iingat sa kalusugan natin. Pero, pinagod nyo na ako. Napagod na akong magpaapak. I won't be Chris if I do not end it this way. Congratulations, Taylor Swift, because I am a Swifty. She won Album of the Year. So this Swifty will quote from one of the songs from Folklore to end her statement. No one likes a mad woman. You made her like that. And you'll poke that bear till her claws come out. And you find something to wrap your noose around. And there's nothing like a mad woman. I'm taking my time. Taking my time. Because you took everything from me. Watching you climb. Watching you climb over people like me. Tama na. Sobra na. Lalaban na.